Hey guys, today I'm going to go over what happened with the Homelands buyout. Did I make money? Did I lose money? Where am I currently on the Homelands buyout? Well, I was able to sell the Norwales. I was able to sell a playset of them for $12. Uh, that was when they were over $10. I was able to sell it for $3. And if I wanted to buy list the rest of them out, these are the current buy list prices of cardkingdom.com and they limit you so you can send 18 falls 12 fiends and 24 narwhals but it is currently on the buy list and they do offer a store credit bonus of 30 percent before i go into too much detail it was an experiment um, it was an experiment to see what would happen to see if actually you can make a profit and the conclusion is you can break even but i don't think you can make a profit and it's definitely not worth your time that being said, people will say, why did I do it? Well, I wanted to see what would happen. And although these cards on TCG Player are much, much higher, they're 4 to $5 cards now, the buy list hasn't moved very much. And if you have a ton of them, you need to find multiple stores like Card Kingdom who are willing to trade or willing to buy it. Let's do one by one. Coastkin Falls, I lost money on because I bought it at $1.90 to $2.10. So the buy list is $1.15, so it hasn't moved at all. Fiends, I made money on, and even with shipping, even considering all that stuff, shipping and shipping it to Card Kingdom, the people shipping it to me, which mostly was free shipping, you made a bit of money because now you know it's a $1.50 buy list uh, with the bonus, and that's not bad. Malera at one point was only a dollar, and Filey at one point was two dollars. So to be able to trade a fiend up for one of those cards, or those like those cards, not bad. And definitely, if you can trade two of these for the new Filey, I'd do a heartbeat. Next, we get to Narwhals. Narwhals was a net negative as well because I purchased most of them over. I didn't purchase most of them over fifty cents. I purchased most of them around 50 cents 55 cents but then when you add in shipping and cost and all that and that does not consider my time so if i put my time into the equation then absolutely it did not it does not make sense at all and not no profit was made however if you just view this as an experiment you can see what actually happens when a buyout um so the card goes up to ten dollars or in the issue of fiends they went up 200,000 plus percent uh, but you cannot sell it you cannot sell it for that amount you cannot sell it for 666 dollars that's not possible in that card then the card goes down and it, it settled it, these cards are settled around four to five dollars as of today they might go down even more later but the buy list doesn't move Card Kingdom moved this buy list up slightly, and it's nice that they even have a buy list in these cards. However, for the most part, I can't advise doing this. Um, definitely, this is a model experiment with smaller cards. I'm probably going to try maybe more expensive cards and see if that's true. Maybe there's more margins on expensive cards, but at least for these smaller Homeland cards, they don't really, you can't make money from doing what I just did. Uh, so maybe leave me a comment below if you have a card in mind uh, not too expensive right and definitely one that i have to study in intense detail before i pull the trigger on it but for the most part i want to see what's happening for these smaller homeland reserve list cards i can tell you you cannot profit from them <laughs> anyway bye guys i'm sure i'm going to get interesting comments I, I wanted to be as transparent as possible. I wanted to be. I wanted to do this experiment in front of you, kind of with you. And for the next one, you know, we'll probably be even more transparent. And definitely leave me a comment if you think um, of something that I can do in that experiment that I didn't do in this one. Anyway, bye guys.